Christmas Bourbon Barkeep. Let's go. I am Curtis. Noah, great to be here. Great time of year. It's not great to be here for me. Yeah. I got got, man. Yeah, I'm I glad got. that you were a week before Christmas instead of on Christmas, but yeah, he's uh, pretty sick. Going through COVID with you, uh, with you, I mean, just knowing you, mm -hmm. um, it feels weird standing this close to you being this sick. Sure, yeah, I don't love it, I but this is the longest table we have, so. And this hat is to help with the chills, but I am now also sweaty. Mm. Glad we have the lights there to make sure everyone knows. <laughs> it is going to be a wild gift exchange for you. Uh huh. Um, if you didn't bring Clorox wipes, I would recommend so. Okay, thanks for that. So, without further ado. <laughs> so, today we are unveiling our Bourbon Barkeep middle of June to July 2023 top five bourbons of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, well, whiskey. The back half, yeah. Back half back of the half. year. So, take that for what it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this is any, anything that we've tasted and owned. Sure. And uh, we're also doing our gift exchange. Yeah. So I brought a uh, prized bottle okay. over here, and I at least hope that you've done the same. We're going to give a little two-ounce pour a piece, and, and uh, not, it's not, we're not going to pit mm -hmm. ourselves against each other, if you will, but we will okay. talk about the bottles and what we like and maybe even score the senses. But, yeah. I feel like we both know more our hearts the, are in the right spot. Sure, more in the spirit of giving than anything. Spirit of giving. Yeah. I'm in a Santa hat, mm -hmm. sweaty and all. Sure. And uh, I really hope you enjoy Rare Breed. Rare Breed? What? Oh, God. I'm just I'm going to switch this one yeah, out. Yeah, this one I'll says, back. open me first. Okay. So that's I for can you. do that. This is for you. I don't feel like we do it together, right? Like, is so I go, oh, I have to go first with the bag. That's true. Yeah. All right. So my gift, thank you in advance, Curtis. Uh, well, don't thank me yet. This uh, kind of looks like... Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. The you, CYPB Weller, not easily found. I don't think I've ever seen this in the wild. To be clear, this is a pour. This is not the bottle. Sorry, man. I don't know if that was the deal, was it? Yeah, it was the deal. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. The yeah. pour is going to be wonderful here shortly. Spin that around. Oh. Wow, what, so a, co so what a coincidence. Your comment, uh, it does look the same. Yeah. So we now have a first unofficial bourbon barkeep Weller battle off. of the Wellers. Weller off. Back to the Weller, if you will. Ooh. Yeah, that was quick. I kind of like that. Yeah. Um, so the idea will be we're going to pour each other an ounce and a half, mm -hmm. uh, score them just to, so you all know what are we tasting, mm -hmm. how do we rate them. And then uh, this is also to encourage people, don't just have it on the, the shelf. Open them up. Mm -hmm. You have them. You bought them. Open them so up and join. Excited to do this. I've never tried the foolproof. Um, I mm -hmm. was curious if you were going to go the twelve-year Weller because I know you're a big Weller guy. So I love Weller. Like yeah. CYPB mm -hmm. right up his alley. Let's do it. Be right back. All right. So the CYPB was the special program that Buffalo Trace put out, and they were like, "Hey, we're going to let the people kind of weigh in on what this next series is." Mm -hmm. People didn't know it was for Weller. I think they just kind of put it under Weller from what it kind of gathered. But it was essentially a choose your perfect bourbon. So you can still do this today. It does not work on Chrome because I tried many times today. Mm -hmm. um, so the choose your own perfect bourbon, there was 100,000 people, probably more at this point, that weighed in because I just weighed in today. So now it's 100,001. Mm -hmm. um, you got to pick mash bill. So how much rye did you want in? How much barley? Things like that. So you got to kind of slide this thing. Kind of fun. How much char did you want on the barrel? Okay. So did you want it like a gator skin? Or mm -hmm. Did you want it very lightly toasted? And then they did proof. Where in the rickhouse? So like high, medium, low in the rickhouse. And uh, I said proof. So what people landed on was an eight-year bourbon okay. for 95 proof and a high wheat. So kind of what Weller has been kind of known for, if you will. Mm -hmm. Um, but essentially, this is what they came up with. I think it started in 2019, if okay. that makes sense. And then they've just kind of continued to release, I believe, the same recipe. Okay. So, all right. Without we'll further see ado, what man. People said. This to is you. what the people wanted. Merry Christmas to y'all. Merry Christmas to you guys. I would have a tough time telling you that's not Buffalo Trace. I mean, that is a lot of cherry. Mm hmm. I mean, even being congested, it comes across kind of medicinal. So maybe it's Ludens to me. Yeah. But a lot of vanilla, mm -hmm. like almost like a, I'm not a big vanilla fan, so I like it kind of in the background. This is forefront cherry vanilla, mm -hmm. and I don't get much else. Sure. 
was it Dr. Pepper that came out with that like cherry? Like it, I am getting quite a bit of that. A lot of meat. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it is kind of that syrupy, almost fake vanilla. Mm -hmm. To where I'm nervous how sweet this is going to be. Not super sweet. Wow, that's really good. Oh, that burns my chapped lips. Damn it. Jesus, man. <laughs> it does kind of tingle the tongue a little bit more at 95 than I would ever imagine. Mm -hmm. But I also haven't had whiskey in a week. I haven't had whiskey in a week, too. I feel like I struggled to wink there. I feel like I could wink before, and now I'm not so sure. I felt like I was the I second twitched. one, and then I saw you have a stroke in front of I, you. That was more of a twitch than a wink. But yeah, I, I'm with you on that. It's a great mouth mouthfeel. I'm still getting a lot of that cherry vanilla. That the notes haven't really changed. Yeah, it translates specifically to like nose to tongue. Mm -hmm. I don't get a ton of Kentucky hug, but not no. a ton of complexity. Like I don't no. feel like it. Pretty straightforward. A ton. It's what you would want. So I looked up today, and this is 50 MSRP. It's not that can I'm, I find it for that? Yeah. But if well were to put it on the shelf, I bought it for 90. Um, so if I graded this at 90, I would say my bang for the buck is, I will get to some of the ratings on census later. I would give it like a 45. Like I think for it's- For 90? Yeah. Okay. I'd probably give it a, a 50. I'd be like, that's, that drinks like a $90 bottle. It's a great pour. I, I probably wouldn't pay much more than that. If so. you took the mystique out of it, I would have a really tough time separating this from so much else on the shelf. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. That's my, that would be yeah. my problem. It's like, certainly not, $90 is certainly not a plus. What I saw in secondary today is $700 is insulting. Yeah, it's criminal. But Like we had a tough time doing angels at 250 to where I'm like, I could, my bang for the buck, I think it was 51 to where you're like, it had the complexity, it had the juice, but ultimately, I mean, at 250, it's like, how much like mm -hmm. pro can you give it? So, yeah. The only way I would spend you know, upwards of 100 to 200 bucks. If I found that for, let's say, for around number 200, the only reason is that I would probably want to try to finish my collection of Weller. Yes. So for those people, I get it. Mm -hmm. For the people that are looking for a really good pour, how much would you pay for this? If you saw it on the shelf at... The max, probably 100 bucks. Oh, okay. Okay, so on to full proof. Uh, this is 114 proof, 57%. Oh, yeah. percent. Um, no, no chill filtration non-chill filtered, however you want to say that. Get that chill filter out. It entered the, the barrel at 114 proof and exited also at 114 proof. How they managed to really do that, witchcraft. I'm not sure. Witchcraft. It's yeah. witchcraft. Um, Non-age stated, I don't believe they disclose. But yeah, so um, that's pretty much all I had specifics wise. 114 proof, so it's a good step hotter. Um, I'm excited. It definitely this is... fits this mold of this winter time. This is right Chilier. in my wheelhouse of non-chill filtered mm -hmm. because I've been looking for the rare breed and I found out it's only available like duty free, the uncut ones. Yeah. This is here. Yeah. The other Wellers outside of 107, I just am not that impressed by them. Um, the 107 like so Like the good. 12. Yeah. But like, give me proof. Mm -hmm. Give me this. So I'm really curious what this is. Sure. I'm very excited. Vastly different nose. Way more caramel. Not near as much cherry. I don't know if I get any cherry. I get kind of like a spearmint. But once again, keep in mind. You just brush your teeth, didn't you? Tell me, tell me you get like a sweet, sweeter mint. Mm -hmm. But I can't go rye. Like I know that there's no, no. rye in here. Yeah. So there's some type, there's a, a mint pulling in for me that I cannot get uh, around. Sure. I was going to say behind, but that makes it seem like I'm against it. I like it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this MSRP is also 50, which is, I mean, it's just a joke because no one's ever found that for 50 bucks. No, um, I paid curious. a lot more than that. Well, I'm curious what the MSRP is when it comes to a single barrel, because that does kind of amp it up a little bit. So if you went into your local liquor store, they have a single barrel of foolproof. Mm -hmm. I would expect it to be a little higher than the traditional. Sure. All right. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Much hotter on the tongue for me. Um, typical, I, I feel Waves. like I have the preference as well. Much like, better, like, down to the tummy. Like, you, 
you're feeling that all the way down much more so than obviously the CYPB considering how light it is but it still isn't uh, the oily thick mouth feel mm -hmm. um, we've come off a lot of very high proof pours to be fair so it hangs around like I still get a lot of the brown sugar on yeah. the tongue mm -hmm. just kind of waiting on it but that kind of zaps the tongue in a sure. really nice way. The, yeah, the caramel stays for me. I do kind of get like a like it's kind of a, a sugary, desserty type of flavor there as well. I don't know if we, we've done creme brulee before. Creme brulee, creme brulee. We have. I don't know if it's necessarily that, but there's some sugariness, some sweetness there toward the end for me. A torch burnt sugar. Yeah, yeah. sure. I love a good creme brulee. Mm -hmm. So I give a little give slap with the, the spoon. Crack it. Yeah, you yeah. slapped that dirty thing. Mm. Good for you. <laughs> I don't know if it was like that, but... Well, yeah, so... I... Two good pours. I'm going to bow out because I genuinely don't have a ton of depth on a lot of these tasting notes mm -hmm. to where it just... Part of it. Sure. Where are you at between A and B? And my heart is not involved in this at all. Like, I think it's insulting what this is going for. I love the idea of it. Mm -hmm. I like and the idea of it, the... If we were to do it factor, that would like help it out. The kind of the origin sure. of like how that came to be is pretty cool. Um, senses, go senses. So, I mean, if I'm just comparing A and B, and if I did this blind, like I, I'm probably going foolproof by quite a bit, and that's okay. largely due to preference. I do like hotter bourbons. So I I am not surprised that when I put these two together, you lean heavier. Yeah, yeah, not shocked. That's fair. Cool. All right. So now, obviously, that's what the people really needed and wanted. The top five bourbon barkeep bourbons slash rise um, yes. of our... We started this channel in early July, so back half of 2023. Yes. Mm -hmm. Got the old laptop out. Um, we did have similar top fives. We, I feel like, have similar profiles in terms of what we like and what we don't like. All right, so my five... So this is going to be our new ranking, so we've just kind of moved everything over. Mm-hmm. Senses and bang for the buck is taken into consideration right. for this. My five was Little Book, Chapter 7. Okay. I have that um, right here. I was a little surprised that this cracked the top five, especially for how expensive it was. Mm -hmm. We had it down at $150. Go ahead and move these guys. I do not think that that is cheap at all. You said $150? $150. But I was blown away by this pour. I thought it was highly unique. I thought it was really fun and something that mm -hmm. there's not many pours that I could sit there and just take a baby sip of it and be fine baby sipping through the entire ounce and having it last an hour. And my five was? Remus 7. Remus 7, okay. So Which I have that over here as well. One of the Remus series is what you're going to be looking for in 2024, like you said. Mm -hmm. This was something that the Remus 6 had a lot of horrible press around. Remus 7, I think you and I kind of both walked into our local liquor store and we were like, wow, this is kind of fancy, let's see. Mm -hmm. And then it turned into, oh, 6 sucked, what are you doing? But the 7 obviously rebounded in a great way. Um, we absolutely loved it. So Loved it. The story behind it was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, so my 4 of 2023 was Starlight Cigar Batch. Gotcha, okay. To Starlight. But yes, yeah, so you, you enjoyed Starlight. I think a decent amount more than me. I enjoyed it as well, but it's not in my top five. I did. I think I, uh, it, it may have been, been a factor of, hey, I love cigars. Mm -hmm. This is one that I've actually really enjoyed sharing. Uh, it's just highly unique that's out there. Re reminds you a lot of the rum chowda, but uh, mm -hmm. for a dad when he's lighting up and you're not sipping coffee. So, really enjoy the Scar Batch. Cool. Yeah. Credit my four? Uh, yep. So, a Little Book was my four. We already touched on that. The uniqueness, the, um, you know, kind of the, the factor that I just never really tried anything like that before did wonders for me with liking that. So, yep. We've already hit on that. So, you're three now. My three. The Remus. Remus. Seven. Okay. Yeah. I found out about myself. I do... Apparently, right now, I like a higher rye bourbon to where mm -hmm. you kind of get that dance on the tongue. Yeah, this was what, like 36% rye, I think, something like that? Something I mean, like that. There's had, a medley. It had the age characteristics that I like. It, mm -hmm. had, it punched above the 100 proof. Sure. Um, it was just 
Such really a good, good yeah. and a really cool backstory to where both of us really enjoy Gatsby. Mm -hmm. um, so your, where are we at? My three. Three. Yep. So we're in the top three. Okay. Remus seven. Your three was the Booker's storyteller. Gotcha. Okay. That's. I'm kind of disappointed that storyteller isn't above Starlight for me. I think that's kind of one of those times to where you're rating in the you moment. Thinking back, yeah. But I definitely Here. enjoy the storyteller this more than Starlight. So I'm happy that it's presented here. Sure. Yeah. So the storyteller was the fourth rendition um, of 2023 from Booker's that we did a blind not that long ago, a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. of all four. And this one, relatively easy, won it. Yeah. It wasn't close. No, not really. So now our top one and two of 2023 are the exact same. Cool. So makes it easy. Number two is Tumbling Dice. Really? Yeah. This was one that I think you randomly bought, right? Cool little uh, barrel cool proof. little name, cool little label, barrel proof. Yeah. It seems like it might be my alley, so bought it and we loved it. This is going to be one that I definitely share a ton because this is Peach Cobbler. Yeah. This is. That's another high rye. I think that's close to 40% too. Could be right. But. Ultimately, this was an unbelievable pour, and this is not shocking to be in both of our top fives. Mm -hmm. Really, really so, good. And I, I kind of know what our number one is, I think, because we mention it every few weeks or so. We do. And I, I think I wore this on purpose. So part of the thing, uh, I'll let you go get the bottle since there's okay. only one. Yeah, there. take us away. Part of the thing that you also have to remember is um, we do take Bang for the Buck very seriously. And there's no better bang for the buck right now than Holiday Bottled and Bond Bourbon. The soft red wheat is just a little grainy for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan. Mm -hmm. but this beats, and I know I've said I like the hot stuff too, this beats the Rick House for me too. Just I, in terms yeah. of pure, like, how much do I enjoy it? Like, this Bottled and Bond is so good. I can promise you the senses, regardless of bang for the buck, this would beat the Rick House. Yes, mm -hmm. I would yep. agree. So, um, Congrats to Ben Holiday. Yeah. Great things that you guys are doing. This is our first pour that we ever did on the channel, and I would still stand by uh, our ratings on it mm -hmm. to where I wouldn't when it comes to my cigar batch over what's up here. I would stand by our rankings, and then we'll see what 2024 brings. A very fun New Year's Eve episode mm -hmm. uh, planned, and then we'll see what 24 has. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Some of us limping in. But you'll be you'll be back. We're here. You'll be back. Right here. Put that put that backpack <laughs> on. All right, guys. To you. Merry Christmas to you, and uh, we'll see you next week for a happy new year.